Witness, state your name, profession, and finally, your gender. My name is Jean Grail. I have been serving the late Master Belduke. And? As you can see, I wear a butler's outfit. But the truth is, as the defense claims, I am a girl. Her voice went even more high-pitched than it was before. Okay. <laughs> A girl? Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god! Nobody could have possibly known unless they, you know, actually talked to her or anything. What? What? The butler is a girl? Preposterous! Girls can't be butlers! Order! Order! Order in the court! Jean Grail, are you declaring to this court that you are in fact female? Yes! But everyone in town was under the impression that you are a boy! I don't know why! <laughs> Hello, please. Hey, did you hear that? The butler's a girl! Doesn't that make him uh, a maid? I knew there was something suspicious about him. I mean her! <laughs> you know why, right? Think about it. All I got alchemy, that's mighty suspicious. Alchemy that can turn females into males! <laughs> just listen to just listen to them. Listen to the wild gossip and accusations. Alchemists pursue knowledge of the rules that govern nature. But to the townspeople, alchemy is no different to magic. Had they known I was a girl, they would have taken me for a witch. That's what Master Belgic was worried about. He told me it would be safer to pretend to be a boy. So I did that very badly. In other words, you disclose that you're a female, but deny that you're a witch. That would probably be a good idea, to deny that you're a witch. <laughs> she knew that once her gender came into question, she wouldn't have, to be able to con she wouldn't be have been able to conceal it. That's why she made this public now. It was the most rational choice for her. Inquisitor Bonham, may I ask you one question? Has all the evidence in this Golden Gentleman case already been presented? Why do you ask? As it stands, you do not have a single piece of evidence proving that I am a witch. Given the lack of personal evidence against me, I would like to be permitted to return to my duties. The lack of evidence? Does the Tally of Magicka, which has your amethyst in. <laughs> There's wherever this magic gemstone is. We okay, fair enough. You've probably hidden that well so we can't find it. <sighs> Go on. Ellipses. <sighs> what say you, Inquisitor Barnum? What say you? He says nothing. Is it proven that the two gems were swapped? However, it, is it may also have been possible for the accused to have done so. So she was wearing a amethyst stone and then a green stone and that's not proof that she swapped the amethyst and the green stone. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah, alright. Okay. Objection. I, I had no reason to swap the gems. To frame Grail, obviously. There's a place of judgement. There is no need for us to understand the reason behind a criminal's actions. Basically meaning, motive means nothing. Huh? After all, those whom we judge are otherworldly creatures. They're witches. Witches. It is impossible for a human being to understand the reasoning of a witch. Okay, lack of motive's not gonna help us. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. At this rate, mine will be. Barn still thinks mine is a witch. We've made it this far, and yet it feels like we're back at stage one. That man was on my side not long ago! Come on! It seems there are no more rational arguments against me. Now if you'll kindly excuse me. We're gonna... Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna blurt out stuff. And then... she's. We're gonna make her testify, basically. I don't know much on real when it comes to the press case. But should I just let it go? I think... We need to talk about another case. We need to talk about the case three months ago. 
because I think pretty much every detail about the current case is pretty much known. We got the order of events, we got the in, an entire picture of the crime scene. We know exactly where everyone was at the time of the crime. There's not really much more that we can go on. So let's learn stuff. There's nothing else I can follow up on the, regarding the professor's case. So what can I do? There's only one other option. Boom! There's only one other option. Break the table. <laughs> Miss Grail, I'll have to ask you to remain at the witness stand. Is there something else you wish to ask me? Your testimony's not over yet. There's still something you need to tell us about. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid I cannot help you. I've told you all I could about this incident. And I'm afraid you got the wrong idea, Miss Grail. It's not about this incident. It's about another incident. Your Honor, I need to break the desk more. What this witness needs to testify about is not the professor's unfortunate incident, but rather the incident from three months ago, nearly bit Sir Belgic's death. As she was present in the building at the time, working as a living butler, she needs to testify about the events of that day. About Sir Belgic's death? Yes. <laughs> the fact that one of the magic gems has swapped leads to a single conclusion. Both crimes, the murder of Sir Belgic and the transmutation of the professor, were the work of the same witch. The truth behind the alchemist's death may also hold the answer to this case. Huff, what is your opinion on this? Inquisitor Batman? A Batman. <laughs> and then just switch back to Phoenix. <laughs> I'll let have your way this time, Sir Blue Knight. The Inquisition has no objections. Inquisitor Zacharias Barnum. It seems you have lost that unyielding attitude so admired by the townspeople. Here you are now, letting a novice defender lead you by the nose. It is hard to believe you have been known as the unwavering sword of justice for your, for your usually cool-headed judgment. Oh, I see what you're trying to do, Grail. It's not going to work. That's not going to work. He wants the truth. You know little about me, witness. <laughs> as he gets his sword out again. You think I care about defending my name? It is this town as I wish to defend. So just point your sword at random people. Go on then, why not? So Belgic's murder is the only case to have remained unsolved for so long. Jean Grail, you shall now testify about it. See, Batman's kind of on my side. It's clear that he kind of wants the right thing, but he's a bit more misguided. He's not like Edgeworth, where he'll just, like, fake all the evidence. So, testimony? It's demanded by both the Defence and Inquisition. The witness will testify about Sir Belgic's death. Any questions? No, my lord. I must have mentioned one more thing before we begin. If you cannot be proven that Jean Grail is a witch, as claimed by the Defence, the court will irrevocably consider Maya Fey to be the witch responsible for both crimes. Is that understood? Okay. I, I guess I don't have any choice but to accept those terms, okay. You have no choice, Sub Sub Blue Knight. If you don't want the trial to end right now, ready your sword and face the challenges and waits. But the opponent's a real witch. It's the gamble that puts Maya's life at stake. Nick! Nick! Oh, voice acting! Hi, Maya! Wait, you're supposed to stay quiet. Maya! No witch is gonna outwit you in court. You're an ace attorney after all. Ace attorney! So, let's do it! I thought I was an ace baker. Oh well. I change professions every now and then. The defense accepts the conditions. Let's proceed with the trial. Humph. Quiz to Barnum, you begin. We shall start with a brief summary of the incident. About three months ago, in the dead of night, Sir Belgium the Alchemist was murdered. The crime took place in his study, just as with this incident. The room had been locked from the inside. The victim was found still seated in the chair at his desk, so we can assume he was attacked while working. There were very clear strangulation marks visible on his neck. Oh! There's something trickling down from his mouth! Is that blood? 
Yes, most likely. The victim probably bit his tongue when he was struggling with his assailant. And you said earlier that some white powder was spilled all over the floor, correct? Yes, hence we expected to find the killer's footprints, however there were none. The killer must have somehow approached the victim without stepping on the floor. After murdering Sir Belgery, the killer left the room without opening the door. All the white powder was spilled after? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just pointing out the obvious here. <laughs> Clearly you obviously looked into that. The crime must be committed with the use of witchcraft. Or just changing up the order of events. The body was discovered the following morning by the butler, Miss Grail. The body was found by Grail, huh? Thank you, Christopher Batman. The court illustrated sketches will be added to the evidence. So we got three sketches of the crime scene. Let's have a look. Judge, shut your face. I'm I'm having a look at the 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 crime scene sketches. I'm sorry, Judge. I I don't mean to snap out at you, but seriously. So is there anything in there that is interesting? Aha! The blank letter at the back. That's a subtle detail. Okay, the wall is still green behind the painting. Uh, he's clearly searching for the Triforce. Uh, what else can we figure out? Okay, apparently it's, it's actually Edgeworth from the looks of things. So Edgeworth is dead. All right, this is now Ace Attorney Cannon. Second picture. Yep, yeah, that blank letter is still there. Uh, strangulation marks, blood, a bottle of something. Okay, what else have we got? The white powder. No marks in it whatsoever. Okay. That hand looks a little bit weird, but, you know, whatever, we'll go along with it. Alright, so that's the, those are the pictures. And I think I've, I've figured out everything that we can figure out in there. But they're going to be a useful cross-reference uh, thing. Just so we know how things happened. Tell us about the event spelling lies the crime from the evening beforehand until you discover the body. Testimony number one. I assume there's going to be more. Maybe this is going to be the only one and we're going to solve it in one testimony. Yeah, that's some wishful thinking right there. As around one o'clock at night, I excused myself and let Master Belgic in his study. When I called him for breakfast in the morning, he did not respond. The door to his study was locked. A neighbour had come for a visit just then, so he forced the door open together. All the potions and other concoctions from the study have been confiscated. I wonder if they're being properly stored. Potions and concoctions were confiscated? The victim was an alchemist, after all. We were hoping the items conf confiscated from his study could provide some clues. Besides, such things must not fall into the wrong hands. It may not be standard practice, but it was deemed necessary. The confiscated goods are stored in our secret vault. The only person with access to them is the High Inquisitor Lady Darklaw. Darklaw! It has caused me great difficulty, as I have not been able to put Master's research materials in order as a result. The confiscated item shall be returned as soon as Sir Belgic's murder is resolved. I shall be looking forward to that. Defense, you may begin the interrogation. Cross examination number one. The night of the crime. So we've already seen the testimony. At around one o'clock at night, I excused myself and left Master Belgic in his study. Uh, hold it. Hold it. Let's just press everything, I guess. So you last saw him alive at 1am, is that correct? Yes. Master had a habit of conducting his experiments at night, so it was the usual time for me to finish my work. Weren't you helping him with those experiments? He would sometimes have some errands for me. But I could generally keep their experiments a secret. That's why I would always excuse myself at that time, unless Master had some other task for me. And that night there was no more work for you. That's correct. I wish Master a good night as I shut the door behind me and then heard him lock the key. There was nothing unusual about him, at least nothing I noticed. Okay, all seems to be in order. When I called him for breakfast in the morning, he did not respond. The door to his study was locked. Hold it! And what time was that? Master would always take his breakfast at 9am, so it was around that time. So he didn't have the key to Sir Belgic's study, is that correct? Well, obviously, it seems to me that what probably happened is that he, 
she used Godor and then strangled him through the wall. Yeah, the chair's close enough to the wall, right? <laughs> oh well. Maybe like uh, Godor and, and Famalia or something like that. There's only one key to that room and Master always kept it with him. Master's research was a very delicate matter, you see. We have to take strict measures to prevent outsiders from accessing that room. I don't know how I said accessing instead of entering. I don't know how I read that word entirely, completely wrong. But it means the same thing, so <laughs> I don't know. Occasionally, the liquids would try to make off with one or more of uh, Master's medicaments. Thief did it for an alchemist. I can't tell if that's incredibly brave or incredibly stupid. Probably the latter. That's why the door to that room is made from thick oak wood. I wouldn't have been able to force the door open on my own. She couldn't have entered the room before that then. Unless she made a portal in the wall, herp a derp. <laughs> a neighbor had come for a visit just then, so we forced the door open together. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Wait, you mean you broke the door? The only key to that room was in Sir Belgic's pocket. The only way to enter the study was to break the door open. And he managed that with the help of a neighbour who came to visit. Yes, it wasn't a social visit, mind. He came as a patient. Okay, a patient. Surely that's protected by doctor patient confidentiality! <laughs> oh no, that's got nothing to do with his objection. The victim's name is irrelevant, he has nothing to do with his case. A witness is hardly irrelevant. He actually is a witness, actually, though. Like, who is who's the neighbour? We we're gonna need we're gonna need the neighbour on on this play, surely. What's got him so shaken? He looks as if he had just he just had a brush of blood to the head. He's the neighbour, right? Yeah, Batman's the neighbour, and it was gonna be something embarrassing that he was going about or something. <laughs> Master Belgi couldn't make it very potent medicines among other things. We would get people coming from the town at all hours of the day and night asking for them. And yet in return for all the help Master offered, people would gossip about him dabbling in witchcraft. So he broke the door together with the neighbour. Yes, when I explained the situation to him, he brought over an axe. Then he proceeded to attack the door with great force, smashing it into splinters. Yeah, who's the neighbour going to be? Some guy? Time for Emir's grand entrance. Did you miss me, guys? <laughs> it's some guy. It's some guy's the neighbor. Right? Maybe? Order! Order! Could it be that it was you who. Suddenly, some guy! <laughs> Why is he about to. Look it, old man. I'm right here. And as for who I am. Why is he involved in everything? I'm the alchemist's neighbour and a witness in that case too. Who the hell is this guy? He's involved in every. Oh god, Birdly. <laughs> Why is he still here? Passion for justice, see think within. Emir is always at the crime scene. It's, uh, it's, it's you, again. Uh, you're the guy from earlier, right? <laughs> yup, that's me, I mean, the name. How have you been, Bluey? I did not expect this! <laughs> Are you really the happiest neighbor? Seriously? That explains why he was actually there, though, I guess. I know, right? It's freaky coincidence, eh? But yeah, his house is next to mine. <laughs> gulp, 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 gulp. Ridiculed earlier, some guy returns. Drinking like a king, he never ever learns. <laughs> That's why I tried to stop him from asking about the neighbour. Ah, why so cold he quizzed about Batman? <laughs> uh, unable to hold his steady cold gaze, some guy drinks fast as if in a daze. <laughs> and the musician standing next to you. Is he actually a witness? <laughs> That'd be private bard! Hold on, hold on. Oh dearie, dearie me. That's that sums up uh, sums up pretty much all my thoughts about the matter as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh god! Suddenly, some guy. 
Suddenly, some guy. Well, no use shutting the stable door after the horse is bolted. Let's move on. Witnesses, you're already here. You may as well add your testimony. Testify more to witness on the day, morning after the crime. Is that going to be it? You can count on me. It dawned on me then. The witch cast familiar, just like in this case. Oh, okay. So that's just been added to the testimony. Okay. <laughs> it dawned on me then. The witch cast familiar, just like in this case. Wait, but the familiar stone was fake. Hold it. Unless they had another familiar stone. But then why would they get rid of it instead of just using it in this case? I don't know. He said what caused that sudden realisation. Sure thing, when the Inquisitors came round, I went to have a little peek at the crime scene. That's when I heard him talking about it. I was surprised because they must have come to the same conclusion as me. Cracker, they can do their job, they're Inquisitors, I thought. <laughs> it has to be Familia. So he was eavesdropping. If I happen to see that Familia user, I'll arrest him myself. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Witness, you are testifying of course, can you not restrain yourself a bit? What's that? Don't you see I got you I have this to keep my spirits up? It's the most potent medicine! <laughs> gulp, 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 gulp. Tis a drink some guy loves to savour with an intoxicating scent and flavour. Uh, and now they're suddenly advertising this medicine or whatever it is. This is a waste of time, I'm looking for decisive contradictions. Uh, I'm tempted to present the fact that the Familia Gem was fake. But I'm not going to yet because I don't, I'm not sure about it. All the potions and the concoctions from the study have been confiscated. I wonder if they're being properly stored. I mean, the Familia Gem is fake. Hold but I mean, it wouldn't exactly be very difficult for them to say, Oh, okay, yeah, no, we, we had a different Familia Stone. And then we threw it away afterwards. Yeah, that's right. But wait, no, I, of, of, like, the witch had a, I don't know. <laughs> Those items were confiscated three months ago. You still haven't got them back? No, not a single thing. Even though many of those were personal items with no relevance to the crime. Now that I think about it, that room it did look pretty empty. As I said, the victim was an alchemist, and among his possessions were some very dangerous concoctions. But he did provide medicines to aid his sick townspeople as well, to give him his due. Indeed, alchemy is highly beneficial to the townspeople, even if they fail to notice it. It may be beneficial, but it also inspires fear. People fear what they do not understand. Knowledge is fear. At any rate, I cannot resend the items to you until Sir Belgius' case is solved. There's what time Chris the Dark Lord has decided. And the confiscated goods are being kept in a secret vault by the Knights of the Oh, wow, secret vault? <laughs> Buried deep underground! Even the Inquisitor cannot freely enter that vault. It is strictly supervised. <laughs> Ellipses! That's all I have to say. Okay, so. There are two possible lines of inquiry here. The first is to press like the first three statements again and see if Amir has any, like if, if I can question Amir about any of them. The second is just to present the fake Formalia gem at what Amir says. Now I think that's what they want me to do. Even though it doesn't really prove anything. Excuse me Mr. Wright, sorry to interrupt your train of thought. Oh, okay, that's okay, what is it? I wonder if he's just me, but I've been thinking about Mr. Mia's testimony. I think what he said is a little strange, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's pretty obviously contradictory. He was so keen to testify! Maybe we should give him some attention and point those contradictions out! Ha ha! What a guy here, Luke! With your freakish smile. Sound the klaxon! The hidden puzzle the warning lights must be turned on! Ah! 
Yeah, this is the first time in the entire game that I think's not been zero. <laughs> Sound the <laughs> Claxons! <laughs>